Hello, it's Mira Reisberg from the Children's Book Academy again, and also editor and art director at Clear Fox Book, where we make beautiful books. <laughs> okay, I'm being goofy here. Um, so this is from Pat Achilles, and Pat has really fabulous watercolor skills, as well as great uh, perspective she's obviously had a lot of training um, and it shows in her work and when you get work that's this this level good um, there's not a ton to say about it but being me I will always say something and here are really small tweaks that I would make on this particular image which is um, uh, and, and Pat, I imagine that you have a long, thin face uh, because I love the way all art is kind of self-portraiture. And though not all of your characters have long, thin faces, a lot of them do. So I might go in and just tweak um, these faces and just make them a little less long. I'm going to make this bigger. So we can see clearly and I'm just going to go in and I'm going to do it quick and dirty which is how I do these and so I just make a copy by going command C command V to paste it and I'm on a Mac and then I'm just doing command T to transform it and just make it a little less long by giving her a little more hair at the top here. And then I might just select that layer by doing command and then clicking on this layer here. And then if you watched last week's, uh, I played with the warp tool, which is one of my favorite tools. So that's under Edit, Transform, Warp. And that enables me to just tweak it just that little bit more. Um, and then Command D. And then there'd be a little cleanup here, which we could do easy enough. Um, I'm going to do a masking layer. And what that does, it protects what's underneath. Um, and I can change it back and forth as I want and it's a fuzzy brush and I'm going to go for a hard brush and then I'm going to use the square brackets on the left to make it smaller Whoop. nope that's not going to do it so I need to do it right here on the layer below so I'm just making this editable by holding down the option to the option key on the keyboard and double clicking and what I might just do is I might just pick up some of this here and just am I yeah brush right over it okay so and I'm gonna do it make a top layer And there we go. Now I'm not quite so crazy about this part of the hair and you can see I'm being really picky. I'm really going in for sort of minute stuff um, because it's really good. It doesn't need a lot of changes. Now I don't know if this eye got distorted but we can see here that this is a little distorted here in the face. And this would be my only criticisms really about this. Um, you know, of course, there's always other things you can do, but I just think it's so very, very good. Um, I, I love all different styles of work. I'm just going to flatten these layers here, Command E, E, Apply, and Command E. And 
and I might just bring this uh, and I'll do another layer here pick up some of this color here and just soften this just soften it just a smidge and then the other thing I might do is just go here and then just make this the same eye now for those of you that don't have um, Pat's skill level you can do a lot of this in procreate now which is a bit cruel for someone like Pat who's put in years to get to this level of expertise um, and also in Photoshop so what I did is I just copied and now I'm just pasting that layer it's a little small to um, do it with by grabbing it and moving it over it'll just distort it okay and let's see how that looks there we go so I think that's working a little better and then I can just go in and do a little clean up but can you see how she's a much sort of warmer looking character now uh, and and I don't mean that in terms of skin tones but in terms of being like a, a loving mom and then I would pick up some of this and my brush and just cover up there and yeah person and oh and I forgot my disclaimer take what you like and leave the rest uh, and as many people as look at your work that's how many um, different opinions you'll get. Then the only other things is, can you see how these eyes are a little off kilter here? So I would, I would just go in and Photoshop um, or bring it into Procreate and do it there, whichever you prefer. And I would just go in and fix these up. I'd pick up a little bit of this color here. Well, actually, I'm going to try and catch it at a little cl closer that may be too pink let's just see yeah it is okay let's see if we can pick up it's very pinky but let's try it Oops, it's hard when it's this little. And then I might just pick up this color, go on another layer, B, and just see if I can bring it down there a little more. And when you work in this small, it's really hard, no matter what medium you're working in, but especially with something that's as loose as watercolor. Here we go. Okay. And then there's one other thing, uh, which I should have spoke about when we were at the big size, but I'm going to go big again by just doing Command minus or Command plus and she needs a little mouth and uh, there's a couple of things that we I mean he's great and she's just lost her voice which I'm wondering if that's part of the story you know I don't know and what I'm going to do here is I'm just copying that eye oops couldn't copy because it's empty command C command V look <laughs> now we have a little narrative going on um, I'm just doing command T to move that around picking up this color actually this color B and just cleaning that up just a smidge there we go um, 
I love the movement in your artwork. I love just there's a, a lot to love about your work and it's just a really nice sort of spiral that you've got going here that guides the eye and everything's kind of pointing to these characters coming out of the subway. It's a classic New York scene. So Pat, I'm going to move on to another one of yours and this is also masterful. Uh, it's really interesting because the shorter faces you do really, really well, but the longer faces just get a little weird for me. Um, so I would just do the same thing again with these faces. Just go in and use the warp tool, command V and Oops, wrong one. Edit, transform, warp, and just bring it out just a little. There we go. And then the little girl is a little um, distorted here. It's just a little strange and it's so hard to see your own work. Um, and that, that's for all artists, myself included. Okay, so I'm just going to try this again. Command, whoops, wrong, wrong layer. Command C, Command V, and edit transform. Now at the same time, you know, this is just one approach. Um, this long thin faces might be absolutely perfect the way they are. Uh, it just really depends on the story, who the characters are. If the long thin faces are there for a reason, like Maybe they're a horse family and they've come to look like horses or something. Um, and, I, and, and I'm not saying that to be derogatory in any way because I love your work. I think it's great. But these are just, I always, always push both my students and um, those that I art direct and edit to just push their work to be the very best it can be. So let me just see if I can make this a little, there we go, a little rounder. And Command D, and let's bring it down. Now here are some other things to love about this. I love this shape that you've created to make a vignette. And I also want to say that your work reminds me of things that I see in the New Yorker, uh, the New Yorker magazine. It's got a very, and it's not just because it's, you know, obviously set on the East Coast. Um, now, the only other thing I might add to this is you've got, and, and I'm someone who really likes white space, but you've got a real lot of it um, because I imagine that's snow down there. I might articulate that snow a little more and I might even bring in some kind of texture. Um, let me just go if I can find, uh, it's so beautiful, it really is. Look at this just gorgeous watercolor work. Um, so let's yeah, see. I really like it. And I hope I'm not going to be embarrassed by what you see on my computer. Uh, CPA. Boom, 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 boom. Mirror Docs Art Projects. Okay, textures. So in the last one, we used um, concrete, which was actually really nice um, but I want to play with something different this time 
and let's just see what this looks like open okay so this is clearly way too much but let's see if we bring that in and and I'm just playing uh, and I think that is key for any artist is to play just play like crazy okay now I'm just going to make this 10 is not enough let's go 20 okay 20 percent and Command D, N. Let me first of all do this. I'm putting a mask on it. So if I need to bring anything, and I'm going to do this uh, really quick and dirty. I'm going to leave some of this here. And, and I'm not doing it well, but that's okay because it's really, really boring for you guys to watch someone do this kind of thing well. And because it's only 30, 20%, I'm going to put another layer of this. Put the snow in the background. Um, command C, Command V. Oh, yeah, yeah, what happened? Because I was on the I was on the mask. Command C, Command V, and now we're just going to play with the opacity of that, and let's see what happens if we make it forty percent. So you can see, I mean, this is really funky and not good, but what I want to do is give you ideas of possibilities, um, and see we've still got more room here. And then, you know, and here it's, I think I like it just as minimal as possible. Um, and as I said, it's totally fine without it. But I think by adding just a little bit of texture, and it could be watercolor paper texture, it could be linen texture, it could be all sorts of things. It just adds a little visual complexity to it. There we go. Yeah, because I don't want to lose the vibrancy of your, your colors because they're so beautiful. But do think about adding some kind of background texture um, just to add a little more visual complexity, just a tiny bit. It doesn't need a lot. Um, Okay, and now let's look at this last one here. And so, you know, love the movement. I'm looking in terms of uh, consistency. And let's look at this one as well. So we haven't seen a lot of hands. And when we look at mom's hands here, okay, they're, they're fairly elegant. I mean, they're big, but they work. Um, but when we look at this one, this hand is super, super cartoony, which might be fine. Um, but for me, I would ask you to refine it just a little. And because it's, you know, it's in the center of the page, it's such a sort of central element. Um, and then I would definitely, unless this is a spot illustration somewhere, I would want to have a baseline for the ground, maybe here. Uh, I love the movement. Um, I love a lot of the texture. Uh, you know, your watercolor texture, texture. I am someone that 
I don't know what it is, but I really am not crazy about the half mouth. I, I just, it doesn't make sense to me. And I think I might be just too logical a person. Um, I'm always looking for sort of inner logic in both the artwork and in the story to make sure that either there's a reason for it or it makes sense. And so for me, you, you know, you don't have the half mouth in others. They've got nice, believable mouths. And I would love to see you continue that. And I'd also love to just round out this kid's nose here. Um, let's just go up here. I'm just going to pick up this. And it's just such a tiny little thing. There we go. So, you know, I'm embarrassed at times. It just, you know, I'm a little OCD which I think makes me really good at what I do, <laughs> but not so easy on the husband. Okay, and now we're going to flip that new mouth over. And, see, and now we're going to put a layer mask on it. And let's see what we get. Hello. To me, that is so much sweeter. But I imagine that you're going for a more cheeky look. And that's why you have the sort of half, half, um, half mouth, the side mouth. <laughs> And I'd rather see you do it with something like that with the eyebrows if that's what you're going for. So let's go, let's go grab an eyebrow. <laughs> it's such a wild thing to do. Uh, this might be totally weird, it is. <laughs> Anyway, just some suggestions. And I, so for me personally, as an art director, these are the kinds of things that I would suggest to you uh, to ground the figure unless it's spot art. And spot art is where you, you just have a little spot somewhere on the page or it's something that's floating there. Uh, and I would bring in a little texture in the background um, and I would give her a, a real mouth. Um, so Pat Achilles, beautiful work, small tweaks, um, to just, you know, bring it up to the next level and thank you for giving me the opportunity to play with your art and make some suggestions that I hope are helpful for you. So that's it for now. Bye.